So we want to import some contacts into our Gmail. You may have come across this one before at the bottom because um, it's a new email account, it's a business account. Um, but it only has access to importing from another email contact. But you normally get your uh, mail list from things like, uh, what do you call it, newsletter responses, etc. So you don't generally have them in this because you you sort of gather them from different sources. So what you need to do is go over to contacts. It's, it's hidden in this Gmail button here, contacts. And what we're gonna do, you have no contacts yet. So we're gonna add, oh no, we don't wanna add like that. More, that's it, import. And we've got them on a CSV file. Uh, it doesn't support import from a contact file yet. It's important from a contact. Go to the old Google contacts from the more. What? So I've got to go to the old Google contacts from the more menu. Yeah. Click import and upload your file. Okay, go to all contacts. As you can see, it's dropped into Spanish for my convenience and sarcasm. Uh, just go over here, configuration. I want it in English. Numbers and telephone. Doesn't really matter, except. Still loading. And what? I just changed it to English. Let's change it back to Spanish. Third time lucky. Okay, so we want to import contacts. And we want to upload a file. And my file... This one I'll do, mail list, import. i just leave that to upload. So what happened? Well, basically, it doesn't come back and tell you it's done anything. Um, I just refreshed my contacts page. And basically, you can see I've got 2,476 contacts, which is a bit of a jump from two contacts. Now, I know somebody's going to go, oh, but I don't know what CSV folder to use if I'm going to do this. Um, what, what structure do I need for the CSV? There's a very easy way of doing this. Go back to your contacts page, which will be something like this, because uh, obviously you've imported, well, even if it's empty, even if you've got like one entry, it doesn't really matter. What you want to do is go to the more, export, uh, it was, the new version doesn't do this yet. Uh, go to the old contacts again. I'm trying to do two things at once here, so apologies. Um, so we want to export. Where's the more gone? There he is, hiding up there. So we export it, and you want to export it as... Oh. Put it on the date. I recommend doing dates, because it keeps everything up to date. And when you export it, Google will... Save it as a Google CSV, unless you want to put it in the Outlook. If you're using 2013 Outlook, be aware that you cannot import like this anymore if you want it to set up a separate folder because sometimes you want mail groups which means you don't want two and a half thousand people being in your general contacts list um, you've got to do it online then sync it to take it offline it's just complicated this is why I'm doing Gmail um, but anyway download the Google CSV let's do it okay we're going to export it save file Let's open the file. And it's got all your headings on the top, look. So it's already, this is the information I want, 
But I could fill in all these bits and other pieces. Uh, I don't know what a yummy name is. Uh, family name, additional, additional, blah, 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 blah. These are all the categories and stuff that are set up in Gmail. So all you really need is these last ones. I mean, I could actually put the first and last names if I wanted to, but this is just for a mailing list. So I'm not really that fast because if I really wanted to do something important, um, I would put it through something like MailChimp. Uh, but what you want to do with this is basically just use their headings. Put, just copy your emails across from another CSV file and just drop them where they need to be. And then just save it, then upload it, and it's in the right format. All right, I hope that helps. Now, the next bit, I don't want to save that, is when you go back to the new one, which is why I was on the new one a second ago. Uh, let's close that one down it will actually sort your duplicates out for you so just go uh, view duplicates and just go merge is there a merge all to save time merge all there you go and that gets rid of all the excess emails so you're not spamming anybody by having too many emails sent to these people because this email address that I've got this set up on is for a newsletter so it's it's got about two and a half thousand people on that list I don't want that email being used for anything else I don't want it being spammed or being seen as spamming so it's very specific to what I what my needs are which is why this is quite ha uh, useful having CSV files to do this sort of stuff um, because you can keep that email specific to that task and I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching.